Welcome to BT Watch, your go-to source for the latest trends in timepieces. In this episode, we're diving into the world of men's watches and unveiling the top 5 must-have timepieces of 2024. From sleek minimalist designs to rugged sports watches, we'll explore a diverse range of styles to suit every taste and occasion. Get ready to discover your next favorite watch with BT Watch. The Murph watch in 38mm is expertly crafted and is not simply a shrunk-down version of the 42mm. After spending some time with it, it's quite obvious that Hamilton obsessed over the proportions of this watch. It was not simply scaled down to meet demand. Meticulous attention was given to overall proportions of the case size, lugs, dial room, and even various parts like the crown which has maintained a nice chunky size despite the overall size of the watch. The watch not only looks the part, but it fits and sits very elegantly on wrist, with zero lug overhang due to the tapered and curved lugs being crafted so well. The watch is also very slim, adding to its comfort and general visual appeal. The only feature that changed from the 42mm Murph watch to this now 38mm version is the Morse code markings on the seconds hand, which have now been removed. And I find this smaller variant to be more pleasing personally, and it's more accurate to the actual film prop used in the interstellar film. The 38mm Murph watch even retains the same H10 movement from its larger brother, which is a modified ETA, and it still sports the generous 80-hour power reserve. That's a lot of taking time for a small 38mm field watch. Overall, I think Hamilton aced this release in every aspect. This is a huge contender in the affordable or entry-level mechanical watch market. The Tag Heuer Monaco Calibre II is an iconic timepiece that pays homage to the brand's rich racing heritage and the legendary Monaco Grand Prix. With its distinctive square case, bold design elements, and precision engineering, the Monaco Calibre II captures the spirit of motorsport while exuding sophistication and style. The case of the Tag Heuer Monaco Calibre II is a masterpiece of engineering and design, featuring the iconic square shape that has become synonymous with the Monaco collection. Crafted from stainless steel, the case measures 39 millimeters in diameter, making it both stylish and comfortable on the wrist. The brushed and polished finishes accentuate the watch's sporty aesthetic, while the sapphire crystal glass offers durability and scratch resistance. With its water resistance rating of 100 meters, the Monaco Calibre II is suitable for both everyday wear and occasional water-related activities. Powering the Tag Heuer Monaco Calibre II is the precision Swiss-made automatic movement, which ensures accurate timekeeping and reliable performance. This self-winding movement operates at a frequency of 28,800 vibrations per hour and offers a power reserve of approximately 42 hours. In conclusion, the Tag Heuer Monaco Calibre II is a timeless classic that combines iconic design with cutting-edge technology. Rocking a big screw-down crown, polished sides, brushed lugs, and a classic thin coin-edge bezel, the pointer date is a reserved and almost timeless take-on, vintage inspired. Despite the generally old-school bezel and dial style, the case shape and brushed finishing gives either size a defined sportiness that I really like. Both sizes can be had with a black dial or in a more interesting color inspired by Le Corbusier, a warm green for the 36mm, and an excellent gray-blue for the 40mm. Both colors are distinctive, work beautifully with the steel case offering, and make for an entirely different feel when on wrist. I was floored by the blue dial version of the 40mm, the combination of the color, and the way the light interacts with the bubble dome sapphire crystal is beautiful and, to my eyes, makes the most of a very balanced and legible dial layout. Using an Orismate module on a base Salita SW200-1, the pointer date has, well, time and a pointer date function that indicates the date via a fourth hand and a date scale surrounding the outer edge of the dial. The date hand is finished with a red tip for a small accent that aids in legibility when reading the otherwise thin handset. With cathedral-style hands for the hours and minutes, the hand sizing is perfect with the needle tip of the minutes hand reaching to the outer edge of the dial. For a real everyday watch with excellent wrist presence, an interesting complication, and good value, I really like the pointer date collection. The blue dial on leather feels like the move, but both sizings feel great and I love the distinctive use of color, 
and the effortless blend of Oris's sporty know-how with an otherwise traditional motif. Christopher Ward is a British watch company known for its commitment to producing high-quality timepieces with a focus on affordability and value. The Trident C65 GMT is a testament to the brand's dedication to offering well-crafted watches that cater to a wide range of watch enthusiasts. The case of the Christopher Ward Trident C65 GMT is an elegant and versatile design. Measuring 41 mm in diameter, it strikes a balance between being suitable for various wrist sizes and offering a substantial presence. Crafted from stainless steel, the case features a combination of polished and brushed surfaces, giving it a stylish yet understated appearance. The 24-hour GMT bezel is not only functional, but also adds a touch of color to the watch, enhancing its overall aesthetics. With a water resistance of 150 meters, it's suitable for most water-related activities. The dial of the Trident C65 GMT is where this watch truly shines. It features a beautiful matte finish with applied hour markers and syringe-style hands that harken back to vintage dive watch designs. The GMT hand is easy to read and track, making it an ideal choice for those who need to monitor multiple time zones powering the Trident C65 GMT is the Swissmate Solita SW330 Automatic Movement. A reliable choice for a GMT watch in this price range, the Christopher Ward Trident C65 GMT is a prime example of the brand's commitment to offering well-made, affordable timepieces. The Seiko Arni SNJ25 is a tribute to the iconic Seiko H558-5000 watch which gained fame as the watch worn by Arnold Schwarzenegger in several 1980s action movies. This modern reinterpretation captures the spirit of the original while incorporating contemporary materials and technology. The SNJ25 is indeed 47.8 mm wide, 14.4 mm thick, and some 51.3 mm lug to lug. You might be surprised by the way it hugs a less than physically impressive wrist. Yes, it's massive, but it wears really well, lightweight, and relatively square in proportions with a soft 22mm wide black silicone strap. Honestly, if you've never worn a larger tuna-style Seiko case, it's hard to understand. But while the SNJ25 looks huge, it's not at all hard to wear, though it does help if you're the type who frequently eschews sleeves. Powered by a solar quartz movement, the H851, the SNJ25 offers analog time that is synchronized and set by an electronic crown and the supporting digital screen. Using two locking pushers on the left case flank, the screen offers a handful of additional functions, including a digital display of the time, a calendar, local time, a chronograph, and an alarm. All of these functions are both very basic and quite useful, with minimal interface between you and the end function itself. Indeed, while the user interface is very easy to understand, it can seem a bit limited as the upper pusher is used as both an action button for some functions and as the trigger for the tiny screen's backlight. So you can have your chronograph, but you can't easily read it in the dark. Compared to the original H558-5009, the SNJ25 adds solar power capability, a battery check system, and the ability to quickly set up a second time zone when traveling in which home time remains on the analog display and the local time is shown on the digital. In general, while the LCD display is indeed tiny, in decent light, legibility is excellent, and as shown above, loom is not exactly in short supply. It's like 80s tech pushed its way onto the dial of an SKX7. As a faithful tribute to an interesting watch that also happened to be worn by the biggest action star of all time, the SNJ25 is pure action movie fun.